Hi again everybody, it's Rob Kennedy and we're talking recruiting. Hopefully you started to take advantage of what we talked about last week. You know, June's moving on now. Uh, before you know it, it's live recruiting period in July. You've got to make sure, as we said last week, that you're getting in the gym and you're working on your weaknesses, right? Don't allow a coach to find you. If you're in the right place, you're doing all the right thing in July, don't let that college coach see the same player that they saw in April. The really good college coaches pay attention to whether or not players are on an upward trajectory. Okay? So they saw you in April, are they seeing a better player in July? If they're not, and they're a good recruiter and they're smart about it, then they start saying, wait a second, let me start focusing in on somebody else. So make sure that we're doing that. As I said last week, want to as well make sure that everybody's got the right focus about what you should be doing in July. Okay? During the live recruiting periods, all right, for both the boys and the girls, you've got to give yourself every opportunity to be seen by college coaches. You have to make good choices. There's a lot of stuff. You get emails from people, brochures, this, that, and the other. You've got to make sure that when you commit days, that they are days that college coaches are going to be able to watch and see you play. If I take and go to an event, whether it's a camp, a clinic, a tournament, and I think that there's college coaches that are going to be there, remember on the boys' side we basically have what amounts to less than, you know, it, it, it's really three weekends of four days and girls as well, different calendars. We've got limited days. I can't waste days. If I go play in a tournament and there's five college coaches there, and I don't care, it might be Mike Krzyzewski, it might be Gina Oriema. If they're not there to see me and I'm not being able to play at that level, then that's like no college coaches being there. I gotta make sure that I'm at camps, clinics, tournaments, where the schools at the level that I can play at are gonna be there. And I'm not talking one or two. You've gotta be places where hundreds of college coaches, dozens of college coaches, are going to get a chance to see you play. Do your homework, all right? Do your homework. Ask college coaches who are recruiting you. Ask your friends who graduated or went to camps or clinics or a tournament a couple of years ago. Ask them, is that event where there's going to be college coaches there? Am I wasting my time and money and your parents' time and money? Make sure that you do your homework. Don't get yourself locked in to being at events that are not going to help you get recruited. Okay? It's really important. If you go to Hoop Group Elite Camp, yeah, there's going to be a couple hundred college coaches there of all levels, from the highest Division ones to the lowest Division threes, and everything in between. All right? If you're going to be at Jam Fest events, same thing. But make sure that you do your homework and don't waste your time or money to go someplace that there aren't going to be a bunch of college coaches. All right? As well, You've got to make sure that you understand yourself, your conditioning, you as a player. It is hard, all right, to be out every day of the live recruiting period playing in front of college coaches, all right? Now, some of those guys and girls that do that really impress college coaches We say, all right, this player's got toughness, they got grit, determination, and you give yourself more times to be seen. But you know yourself as a player. You've got some recovery time, all right? This is one of the good things years ago that the NCAA used to, you know, we used to have a continuous run. Now we've got breaks, all right? And so you've got time to regroup. You, but you've got to make sure that you're mentally prepared. So lay your schedule out on a calendar and then ask yourself, am I going to be, am I going to be able to handle this, all right? Am I going to be playing well? Are college coaches going to see the best of me? If you think you're overscheduled, take something out. Figure out when do I need that. You don't need that in the first period, you're fine. But maybe in the last period, I need a day off, a day in between. Maybe I go to one event and then not two. Or I go to one event, take a day off and get to another event. But again, two biggest things. Make sure that I'm going someplace that's not going to be a waste of time and money, that there's going to be college coaches. Because there's some, my, my son got an email the other day uh, from from a camp that th there's not one college, there's not one division one college coach that's been at this camp in the last five years. Yet they send out an email that tells you that those people are going to be there. If I didn't know any better, I'd sign up and say, let me go to this camp. Do your homework. <laughs>
trust me, do your homework. And then the second thing is, don't over schedule. Make sure that you're going to be able to perform at your best the entire time of the schedule that you lay out. All right. Next week we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do to help yourself during the recruiting process when coaches are out there to see you play and give you some tips on how you can make the most of the live recruiting periods coming up in July. Once again, if you've got any questions, comments, uh, please email me at robk at hoopgroup.com.